Hello, uh, in this tutorial I want to show you how I created this ground drilling effect. It's actually pretty simple and will not take much time. So here's my uh, box, simple box, which I want to augment into bricks. It's pretty simple. Also, I already have my drill. It's also pre-animated. Simple animation. So as you can see it show up above ground a little bit and then go back. So first thing I have to pre-fragment this box into bricks and I um, have to add this into impact object list here and go to fragmentation, pick uh, bricks fragmentation type and uh, so here's my length, the lowest uh, size of my box length it's nine so I will I actually don't want to use a lot of bricks uh, not to waste a lot of time for simulation so I prefer to make them big enough so maybe 22 22 the second spinner's variation I will keep it at zero 22 here and here as well also the important thing is that my y axis it's pointing uh, in the in direction of the bricks. So let's say I will set it to let's say 30 and start fragmented. So as you can see, my bricks direction directed looks into this the uh, y axis direction. So now I think I will I will make them a little bit more real. Select all bricks and apply edit poly modifier. Select all edges and apply some chamfer. like that so now I will send them back to uh, into slipping list here and uh, all other objects I will define as static like these blocks this ground Now let's start with some simulation. As you can see my start frame is 30. Since my uh, uh, drill comes close to bricks at frame 30, I will set it to 30. And again, uh, I will increase my collision tolerance because if it will be too low, since all these bricks positioned very tightly to each other, at the first impact they start, might start explode. Actually, I will set it to zero, so you will see how uh, what I mean. Also, I will decrease gravity to 0 0.7. And uh, okay, so let's create some simulation. Preview mode. So as you can see, after first collision all these bricks fell down because each brick activates another so this is first thing we will do go to back to slipping and turn on this dead object and if revive by velocity is zero which means this dead object always will be dead and uh, it means that this drill will push them but they will not fall or fly away you can see what I mean Here to start push them. And as you see this jiggering, this happens because of a very low collision tolerance. Even though drill is only here, uh, there's a there are the bricks already here which are moved. And as you can see these bricks, they don't start fall down. 
because the y variability is zero. So let's set it to well. And here you can see that newly activated brick start fall down. So I will keep it at 20. I'll stop simulation and increase my collision tolerance. Maybe at 2, maybe a little bit less, at 1.8. Let's try again. And now we see that this part of bricks was revived by speed and fell down, so I think I have to increase my revive by speed to make it more resistant, like 40. you see they are more resistant now but not so much I, as I want so let's increase it even higher like 70 Okay, now it's too much. Let's stick to 55. Also, this time I want to start using interactive demolition to break some bricks into pieces. Turn it on here. And I'll set the material solid to 0 0.5 for first pass. And fragmentation I will change to my uniform and it will be pretty low maybe 10 iterations 10 to 10 and 5 variation so save scene let's see what will happen now So you can see it start breaking then. As you can see, I, let, I got a lot of fragmentation here, but not enough here. So it means you can uh, reanimate re -anim, re, um, your drill to make it more higher in this area, because in this area it just starts showing up and then it's go to parallel to the ground. Also, you can decrease material solidity, or so even 
those bricks will be fragmented also you can decrease uh, again you can decrease velocity so let's see what we'll get we got now So let's tweak it a little bit, go to manager, delete, and now I want to, let's say, to 50, and physics will go here to interrupted demolition, set it to 0 0.3, and maybe even more fragments, to very many. So as you can see, my tessellation is 1. So let's create another pass. Save scene. Set it to 2. I think it will be better with this value. Maybe even 2.2. .2. And start again. Okay, simulation just about to be finished. And let's see what we have now. What I have to admit is that the simulation result uh, depends a lot on real simulation. So if you want to make this uh, simulation more aggressive, you need to move your drill a little bit more upper, uh, so it will push all these bricks harder. Or if you want to less it less aggressive, you can move it a little bit down, so it will just slightly push all these bricks. And of course, if you want to get more fragments, you can decrease. Uh, solidity so more fragments will be demolished or if you want to have more fragments uh, uh, you can increase iterations for uh, Voronoi uh, fragmentation types so each brick will be fragmented into more fragments uh, I think that's all for now thank you for watching Here's a nice one.